Hey, thank you, brother. <laughs> Biggest supporter, yeah. I'm not a big fan of doing it that way. I would rather just work my pro my progressions up, but there is something to be said about doing a G major to an A minor, and then a G minor to an A major. It's weird. And then A minor to a B minor, and then A major to a B major. It tests your finger moving back and forth for that minor third and that major third. Other than that, the other chances you can have to move that finger would be playing your G major to a G7, C major, C7, D major, D7, something along those lines. When going through these, try and use your G, your A, your B, your C, your D, your E, your F sharp, diminish, and then your G again to see where you have the root one, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. And you're going to love G major because you can play the D and the G open and droning and still get G major, A minor. that drone note and put your C in there and play G major, your A minor would have B minor, still have that G drone, but now you've had that third note in there, yeah, which is why I really like these, because when you practice them out, you could have... structures up as we we're talking about so here's where this comes in in the key of G if you play G A B C D E F sharp and then G what we see is major has do re mi fa so la ti do mixolydian has do re mi fa so la ta has the F natural rather than the F sharp and then it resolves to the G our other major mode is Lydian with a sharp four. Do, re, mi, fa, oops, sorry. Do, re, mi, fa, C sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G. Those are the three major modes. Now there are other modes which kind of sound major-y, but as soon as you change that major third to a minor third and you can play that B as a B flat, G, A, B flat, it ultimately changes whatever mode you're doing into a minor mode. If you play a major mode, but you only put that minor third in there, you have something which is a different modal scale, but it is still minor. Hear it? So the only minor chord that I played in this whole progression from the previous video was that B minor. Meaning, if you're playing in the key of G major, you can use your one, four, and five, your G, your C, and your D, to play your majors. G, here's a D. The D kind of works over the top of it. It's because you uh, you have the uh, the moments of it and movements of it. So here's where the math gets a little weird, and here's where the names get a little weird. But here's where the feeling gets a little awesome. A mixolydian in the key of G has an F natural, not an F sharp. But if you're playing in the key of G major and you play a D mixolydian, you get D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C for the flat seventh and then your D. Meaning, if you play in the key of G and play a D mixolydian, all those notes are in the key of G major, meaning... can't go wrong with any of the notes you choose. Right? 
So when you're going to the B minor after the G major, what are the other minor scales inside of G major? Well, we've got the minor second, A Dorian, or we've got the minor third, B Phrygian. We can also use our sixth, which is E minor, our relative minor, to get Aeolian, which is just a standard old minor. One, two, flat three, four, five, flat, flat six, flat seven, one. Da, 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 da. That flat three, flat, uh, sorry, flat three, flat six, and flat seventh really change and alter the tone. So in the key of B minor, you can either play A Dorian, you can play B Phrygian, or you can play your E from your E note, so D, D sharp, E. And E minor has an F sharp in it, which means if you're playing in the key of B minor, there are a certain number of notes that will not work, but when you play that A minor over the top of the B minor, I'm sorry, E minor over the top of the B minor, you'll hear what notes don't work. That note right there is in the chord. So is this note. So that first note and the fourth note don't quite work. That note right there for me wouldn't work. E, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. So I would omit that C and I would play the C sharp or I would just not worry about that note together and do pentatonics over the top. This might be a little over the top, but when we think about our pentatonics, whether it's major pentatonic using the... Uh, uh, what is it? One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, six, and seven. We're going to be moving through. When we have a minor pentatonic, we can go into that later, but it just changes where your minor and major six are. Uh, when we're moving around these scale preferences, what we're going to try and do with that jam track that I just did was play a G major and feel out, let's see what a C major sounds like over the top of a G. out is in the key of C major if we've got C Ionian what other major chord in C major resembles a D major and what we find out is when we're playing all these notes if we play a C major go to its major uh, fourth and major fifth which is going to be a G and a uh, F you will find that a lot of the notes in F major do not work over the top. A couple of the notes in the chord of uh, 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 G major do because it's so very close except for that F sharp. So the onus is on us as the musicians to play every chord and every note for every triad, meaning major triad, minor triad, diminished triad, and augmented triad. One three five, one flat three five, one flat three flat five, and then one three sharp five. When we do that, we tend to hear what those notes are. Believe it or not, Lydian is really reserved for like movie scoring, soundtracks, TV themes. There are not a lot of tunes out there that have Lydian with that raised fourth in there. Um, but when you hear it, it blows you away because you hear the majorness of the chord, but you hear this extended fourth. So in the key of G major, we'd have G, A, B, C sharp. I really dig like Elmer like a Palmer, King Crimson, has a lot of that. You will rarely find a Lydian in Bluegrass. <laughs> it's mostly Mixolydian and Ionian when we're talking about majors. However, that fourth, that raised fourth, with being an augmented fourth, is great to do a quick slide into your perfect fifth, meaning... <laughs> augmented fourth that raised fourth when you do a movement like that that is considered a lydian lick i hope that really helps put a little bit more of a pinpoint on what these are don't worry if it's all whoop we're gonna keep going over this over and over again and we're gonna layer these like pancakes of off awesome information i can't wait to see you next week aloha